Hello, it is the 19th of November 2023. We are in a huge shift astrologically and with the new moon on Monday or last Monday. Um, and so we're just doing a reading around that. Pick a pile. What are you drawn to? What uh, are you getting the feels for? And let's have a look at those energies that are impacting you. Starting with pile one, we'll just lay these cards out initially. Got the bat, the flamingo, the beluga supported with the this is a cute little um witchy deck with the right white rabbit supported with the crown chakra um, and some affirmations okay so the bat uh is there's very much a sense here of <clears throat> this heaviness that's been around this um difficulty in trying to process this but uh, you can see on the challenge side is ponderous and shadowed. And I get the feeling that as we are transforming through this stage of um, Scorpio, essentially, in and the new moon and everything trying to come into a new cycle of being, that all this murkiness, all the shadow energy is rising to try and process. So you may feel like you've been in this fog or that your ability to be motivated and on task is really challenged constantly as you want to be in this you know, space of really being progressive, but you're finding that it's really hard. Again, the flamingo supporting that sense of what is rising from the shadows, but the flamingo also indicates this you know, beautiful ability to shine your light, okay? The flamingo is bright pink. It's very expressive in who it is and what it does. And this is mental and emotional energy that's shifting so you can elevate consciousness, so you can expand into that consciousness and that energy of what comes next. The beluga <clears throat> is indicating as you move through this cycle um, of what's going on this week that um, you're going to release a lot of scepticism that underlying that's been creating doubt. And again, we've got mental and emotional clarity here. So uh, you're going to find you start connecting with the correct people that can guide, that can bring the results that you want. OK, so what have you been working towards? Is it personal? Is it professional? Um, and in that what is going to start knitting together at the moment though it's really important to recognize and the white rabbit um the white rabbit and this little energy here you can see the sun that the sun is very purifying it's very cleansing and this energy of earth is just so stunning but you're in a time of rest you need to rest you need to honor the process of what's shifting what's transitioning and just take the time you need so you can regenerate, so you can replenish, okay? And it's really interesting that this tree's got all these purple berries because the crown chakra also came up. So when you consider that the flamingo is talking about this elevation of consciousness, this reconnection to, you know, a more expansive perception and thought and just moving into greater awareness you know that's very much supported here through the crown chakra through what we're seeing here of this purification and cleansing with the sun with the elemental energy and taking time to actually rest you can see you're being supported here um also these both also support that in saying that when you move out of the shadows that you actually become you find the people you're meant to be meeting and working with you find the um resources and you are offered the opportunities that you've been waiting for so that you can essentially move through everything okay so this transformation at the moment the new moon the scorpio and all its transit is um really just shifting and creating this crazy alignment for you to move forward um this laugh at yourself lighten your heart i love this because it's very much about self so Again, taking time for you, what makes your heart sing, play, you know, just <laughs> this energy of this green and yellow is healing you. And this rainbow through the dove, the dove is very peace. And so this activation back into that elevation of consciousness as you play, as you let go, as you lighten your heart and allow yourself to <laughs> find what helps you heal. Okay. So your affirmation this week, 
In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation and stillness. Again, really just perhaps turn that into I am surrendering to the powerful presence of love. I am honouring the con through contemplation and stillness the healing process um you can word an affirmation like or similar to that was a little bit chunky but um just find affirmations that support that movement and flow that you can really help yourself take the time needed to shift out of these shadows out of the challenge and into that this this transformation that allows you to express okay so these two cards here the flamingo saying you know express yourself express in all your beauty and truth and this indicating also with the yellow the green the activation of inner peace and clarity all coming together they're very much the same card just supported in different ways so i hope this makes sense well done to pile number one and may you have a blessed week now, pile number two, the wolf, white buffalo, seal, heart chakra. Okay, so this week for you, in alignment to everything that's going on, this transformation and this energy, <clears throat> You may have been feeling within this challenge a hesitation. You may have been feeling unmotivated, but it's not going to hang around, okay? You are going to be shifting into and through this healing phase and into greater sense of purpose, greater sense of passion, greater idealism of clarity of where you want to be. The buffalo is supporting this transformation because as you put out your thoughts, this is helping to create the miracles, those networks through realities to really help the, the opportunities come forth and, and what you need to happen, okay? So it's um, really letting go of what has been holding you back and seeing suddenly clearly and having the resources to be able to actuate into what you want to make happen, okay? So that's really important, not only seeing it, but having the resources to actuate, which helps, as you can see with the wolf, which is very much a pack animal. So as you're meeting the right people and the right opportunities, you empower yourself into that and this is very much empowerment this healing and self-love this love and reconnection back into the people and the situations that really help your soul shine okay i think this is really important it's not necessarily just relationships but it's the relationship of you with spirit with your higher purpose with that flow and life that you truly want to live it's it's just a beautiful synchronicity that comes together. The seal is then stating that you need to let go of those energies that are really holding you back, you know. So what's no longer serving? Really look and assess your life, okay, because you've got to let go of what's offensive to your soul. The heart chakra coming up here that, you know, as you're finding clarity, you can activate greater energy through that heart to find that sense of inner peace and alignment that this one's coming in with. The seal is fluency, balance, mental, mentally and emotionally, air and water, so that you find that ongoing balance and fluency as you let go of what no longer serves, as you move into the path that you really want to be, where that clarity exists. Okay, so <laughs> here the white rabbit confirms what we're seeing here with intuition. Okay, so listen to your heart again this activation through the heart when you activate and you feel into a situation you intuitively understand that's when this manifesting this ability to really find clarity and to heal into and move into opportunity into material like wealth i guess prosperity in any shape or form be it joy be it love be it money whatever it is earth is associated to all these things and the actuating within the real world so when you activate through the heart you're finding that inner peace you're activating through that and you're working with your intuition you're rebirthing the spirit of the raven here 
you're finding look the fire here the sense of purpose and sense of passion within that clarity you've got the duality this finding balance in all you are and all you do so affirmation or the support card is when i think i've surrendered i surrender more so really going past where you think you are and letting go more okay this wolf keeps coming to me keeps saying just let go you when you empower into you okay your authentic expression you know how authentically are you like only you know you what parts of you are you not seeing what parts of you are you not really fully connecting to and what parts of you do you need to connect to to allow this fluency and balance to come forth what have you been stuck in your mind with? What do you need to really step back from so you can embrace the oneness with life, with yourself, so you can activate through the heart space that you can feel and exist within this heart space. You can find the clarity and balance that you need in life, fluency and balance, manifesting that life you want to live here and now, okay? Adaptable, empowered, flexible, continually moving with ease and grace through life. The raven rebirthing those energies all right i hope this makes sense and many blessings to you pile two chameleon bear raven again soft plexus We've got quite a bit of yellow going on here which is about self-empowerment and really stepping up it seems to be a lot of transformation going on when the chameleon comes into your energy field the chameleon very much states that um that uh, you are hopefully letting go of this dysfunction and the controlling energy that in your awareness okay you are able to literally transform your life you're finding that shift within your mental and processes within the physical aspects of everything you're doing every day so you can see forward so you can set your vision and you are able to efficiently take that step-by-step -step action into where you want to be the chameleon when it's in your energy field works very quickly so things transform and things things come forth very quickly and that's really important to know as you're moving through this energy of letting go and transforming into and it doesn't even feel like it's um it doesn't even feel like you're having to at this point even work really hard at it it feels like it's almost this fluent all this is letting go the work you've done is done and this is what's releasing so if you're feeling out of sorts just keep focusing on where you want to be because this is indicating to me that your ability to maintain determined positive action day by day step by step is really healing is really moving you into a cycle of prosperity where you're going to find the direction here we've got the um the fire and we've got the earth and that is direction that is sense of purpose that is having a voice and expressing yourself positively proactively to create the outcomes you want to do no longer in this conflict and lack of control but rather you know where you need to be you know what you want you know the step by step the breath by breath the day by day action and it's just a matter of doing it okay and as you're doing it day by day step by step the raven is indicating that it is actually happening okay you are changing you are transforming you are existing in a space of really stepping into greater clarity that leads into that ongoing achieving that ongoing you're able to channel intuitively with your teams through you it is being done through you that energy of bringing prosperity into mind body and soul this whole energy here for you is really profound it feels very empowering the solar plexus indicates also this card the angel of light the solar plexus is about self-expression about really having a voice and that supports with the grizzly bear as well that determination and clarity as you step forth each day creating that physical and sense of purpose and passion finding the resources and knowing exactly what you need to do step by step okay you've got the focus you're using the right tools 
to create the outcomes you want. Spirit of the Rabbit here, we've got this beautiful um, expansion of energy going on here. And as we're boiling and brothering, we're throwing in all the, as I said, tools of spirit, this creation that is bringing together the forces. We're boiling potter. We've got the fire here. We've got the air. We've got the earth. It's just, <laughs> I just really love this card because it's just magical all around as you are transforming. This is very, 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 very chameleon energy <laughs> as you are creating the outcomes that you desire. Um, yeah, well done. This is amazing. You are totally in control. You are totally knowing what parts of what you need to bring together to create the outcomes you want that is what's actuating into your reality with positive stability and coherence uh, let's have a quick look at this one discernment yeah that's perfect discernment see the truth of the situation use common sense do not be fooled pay attention your intuition knows and i feel like you're right on track with this with all these other cards supporting that that your ability to feel into who you are and what you need at this point is perfect that you are in alignment to the outcomes that you want to achieve okay so keep doing what you're doing again believing in you trusting in you trusting in what you feel to bring that forth this is very um the orange yellow this is relationships this is self this is knowing the choices to make with positive proactive energy okay so you're not making willy-nilly choices you are assertively proactively deciding what is right for you okay what feels right what is right your affirmation this camera keeps going blurry okay when i lean on certainty and faith i change my world uh, sorry when i lean on certainty and faith i change my mind about the world i see so basically when you trust in you when you take that leap of faith in you when you choose you that is when these cards really find their growth these animals can truly support the messenger animals the chameleon working quickly and efficiently flexibly <laughs> determination and clarity rebirthing into that life that you want to live these are beautiful these are powerful these are just inspiring cards and amazing journey that you're on so beautiful pile three and i hope this makes sense have a beautiful week and i will talk to you again next week bye for now